Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing another set from Perfect 9 Darts and these are the Stu Wilson darts. Quite a few people have requested a review of these. You can only buy them from the Perfect 9 site, so I'll put that link up in the description. So let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 90% tungsten. You can also get them in 24 gram in steel tip. There is no soft tip and the retail for £44.99. So the darts come in the luxury Perfect 9 packaging, got a silvery label on the top with the name and the weight of the darts, lift the lid up and you've got this top section that you can remove or if you just lift the top then the darts are displayed, you've got a dense foam inlay with a velvety covering holding them in place and they come fitted with the Perfect 9 medium stems, so underneath that there's a little tray, you pull that out, there's a perfect nine coaster with a checkout chart. You've got a set of the clear perfect nine in between stems and two sets of standard shape perfect nine flights. That's fit with a black coated point. It's a sleek looking dart, got a slight taper to the front and you got a mix of grips got shark ring and very fine and smooth section there but obviously that part stands out little mini scallop with these kind of oval milled sections into it so if you're a mid to rear gripper in between and that's where you grip it makes a nice reference point not the kind of grip scallop where you fully sit into it but more for a little bit of grip and reference I think. Um, it may suit any style though because of the, the way the grip is on the other parts. We'll talk a little bit more about the grip in the close-up coming up. And the darts are fitted with the Perfect 9 medium stems and supplied with the Perfect 9 standard flights. Well, there's a small smooth section at the very front and then the bulk of the front half is this shark style grip. Fairly uh, shallow angled and I would say that probably goes about halfway and then you've got a, a ring style grip with curved grooves kind of a flattish ring style and then beyond that you've got this scallop section and as you can see it's got these ovaled milled cuts and just turn it around a bit and it's got a very fine micro groove in it so quite interesting grip there and then on the rear it's fine micro grooves with a smooth section in between so there you go that's the super close look at the perfect nine Stu Wilson darts That's fit with a black coated 27mm point, there's a smooth section at the front of 2.3mm then you've got this section of flattish shark style grip that's 19.7mm then you've got a fairly shallow ring grip that's 10.3mm and then you've got the small scallop section with the oval milled cuts that's 8mm on the rear it's mostly a smooth section with little fine rings either side that's 10.5mm length 50. 8 millimeters widest part 6.7 millimeters 22.08 grams 22.08 grams again and 22.08 so perfectly match weighted full setup 23.73 grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights so 
So at most it's 6.5 and that's for the sharp grip section, the rest is about medium to low level. Mm. You know, I think the grip on these is actually giving it a little bit of extra thrust for me. It's quite a subtle feeling grip when you're just feeling it like that, but when you kind of rub your fingers lightly along it, you do feel like you're getting the edges of it a little bit because it's kind of flat against the barrel. So as you're pushing forward a little bit, I think that's when it starts to bite into the fingers. But I think for me, it's flying a little bit quicker so it's a little bit disconcerting but I think getting the hang of it won't take too long yeah I think I know what you need to do I think is grip it a little bit lighter and when you get it right they're almost going perfectly straight just grip it a little bit lighter, let that grip do its work and it flies really nice when you get it right. Mm, that actually flew rather nice. Not too bad but not on target on the second one. And that third one, quite nice. Holding it on the, the ring grip here. Less grippy than that front part, but not a massive amount of difference. Um, but balance there feels really nice. And I'm wondering if it's because it's got that kind of scalloped section with less tungsten on it behind it. But some of them are flying quite smooth, so. I thought it was a dart that maybe one for mid to rear grippers, but it might be a dart that might suit all grips actually. They yeah, flew very smooth then, so it feels really nice balanced there from that section. Went a bit high, but it's fairly smooth again. Yeah, they're actually quite smooth, and that's usually surprising for me. Usually get quite a lot of spiraling or fishtailing from the rear, but I'm holding it right on that little come out, little scallop there. So, like I said, it's not the kind of scallop where your fingers sit into it. So, if you prefer that kind of scallop, then you probably not gonna like this one but this kind of scallop it's more like a, a reference point and adding a little bit of grip so it's probably good for people that like that kind mm, some of them are really really flying quite nice from there so if that's where you naturally grip it then you might quite like it there, but I did think it was a little bit nicer balanced from the rings in front of that. I think that's more me than the, the dart that. <laughs> well, <laughs> went all over there like, but I think it works quite effectively as a little grip and reference section but I think overall for balance definitely that section and for me that section for the grip and I was surprised it, it felt as nice as it does from, from the front section.
Oh, do you know what? My, my hand went a bit wobbly on that last one. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, hold it lightly. And I think I hold it a bit too lightly. And it just went and wobbled. <laughs> but I think you definitely have to hold it really lighter than what you normally do. If you hold it too tight, you will catch the edges of that. Hold it just light enough and just let the grip do its work at the front section. And I am surprised that I like it as much as I do. I think it's just down to that grip more than anything at the front for me. I definitely thought it was just going to be a dart for people that like to grip around where that scallop is. Um, but it could be a dart that suits any style, front, middle and rear. The middle section felt very, very nicely balanced. And obviously, if you go right to the end of the barrel, there's not as much grip there. But if you're going to be gripping into that little scallop, like I said, it's a nice reference point and also a little bit of grip there. So could work for many styles, actually. Very sleek, and nice looking dart. So you can only buy these from the Perfect Nine website. So I'll put that link up in the description. I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.